Farmers in the UK are gearing up for a major protest in London this Tuesday, organised to oppose new tax changes introduced by Chancellor Rachel Reeves. These changes are feared to have a devastating impact on the farming community, with many facing surprise inheritance tax bills and deep cuts to subsidies that could threaten the future of their businesses. However, what was intended as a peaceful, non-political rally has attracted attention from far-right groups. Extremist factions, including close associates of Tommy Robinson, have used social media to call on their supporters to attend, turning what should be a focused protest into a platform for their own agenda. One controversial figure now at the center of the debate is Jeremy Clarkson. The former Top Gear presenter has been embraced by far-right circles after making claims about the UK government's sinister plan to ethnically cleanse farming communities. His comments have gone viral, with extremist groups now promoting him as a hero of their cause. Far-right activists like Paul Thorpe, a YouTuber with a large following, are also urging their supporters to join the protest, further complicating the organizers' efforts to keep the event focused on the genuine concerns of farmers. Organizers, including farmer Ollie Harrison, have made it clear that the event is non-political and aimed solely at raising awareness of the pressures farmers are facing. Harrison and his team have emphasized that they want the protest to remain focused on the issues at hand, the severe financial challenges caused by recent tax changes and subsidy cuts. The protest organizers are also working closely with the Metropolitan Police to ensure the event remains peaceful and family-friendly. They've reminded attendees that any troublemakers or political point scoring will not be tolerated. One of the most pressing concerns is the drastic cut to farming subsidies, which have been reduced by 79% this year. Many farmers were expecting a more gradual reduction, but the scale of the cuts has left them reeling. For example, farmers who were receiving £62,000 in subsidies last year now face receiving just £7,200. While some political figures, like Nigel Farage, have offered to speak at the event, there's growing concern that such appearances could shift attention away from the core issues facing farmers. Some farmers even argue that Farage's involvement, given his role in Brexit, could distract from the real problems caused by the new tax policies. As the protest draws near, the debate continues over how it will unfold. Will it remain a rally for farming communities, or will far-right groups successfully co-opt it for their own purposes? One thing is clear, farmers are in crisis, and they want their voices heard. Stay tuned as this story develops, and for more updates on the protest and the challenges facing UK farmers, keep following Express Inside News.